Good morning. It is December 5th. It is 9.32 a.m. in the morning. And I just had my first experience in some time with the Beyond Body. So let me get into it. And as always, I will tell you what my setup was this morning. Now, before I started this morning, I was of the mindset that if this happens, great. If it doesn't happen, that's fine. Again, it hadn't been happening. The Beyond Body hadn't been happening for me lately. And by the way, guys, there are times also when I just, I almost feel this sense of being disconnected from that part of me. It's a very kind of a strange feeling. There are times when I feel more connected to the beyond body, astral projection, those types of things. And there are times when I don't feel as connected. Um, you know, maybe I, perhaps I'm, I'm, you know, more, uh, involved in work and my head is more full, uh, of things that aren't as, spiritual because you know I'm living my life like everyone is that like everyone that's listening to me right now you live your lives and sometimes you get caught up I guess would be a better word for it caught up in in life in general and I do too even though I can do the things that I can do there are definitely times when I lose touch with that part of me so this morning I had storm sounds on in the backdrop. For those of you who care about that, I, it's one of the things I like to have on in the background. Either storm sounds or at times just silence helps out, helps me to relax. And I was in my mind thinking about that uh, image where I... Uh, make my third eye glow believe that was what I was uh, kind of had in the back of my mind and I was imagining it and of course I had the intent to leave but well again it wasn't so overwhelming and it's something that I always tell you that while you do or you should have the intent to leave your body or to have an experience, it shouldn't be overwhelming. It shouldn't be this thing where I have to do it. I have to get out there. Just relax and let it come. And eventually it does. At one point, I felt that feeling, the that feeling of being in what I call the sweet spot. And that feeling that not like there was a tsunami of energy, but that there was definitely energy there and that I was going to move. Now, I didn't go far, guys. I did not go far at all. Um, there was a feeling as if I was coming off my bed to my left side. That's the feeling that I got. That's the feeling of movement. And once I hit the ground, I stood up or was stood up to my feet and I was still in darkness. It hadn't lifted quite yet. And I think I was feeling, I have to say, a little impatient as I was kind of waiting for this to um, reveal, this world to reveal, whatever the world is. Again, as I've told you uh, I never know with the beyond body exactly where I'm going to go what parallel reality am I going to go to what kind of a place is this going to be I don't know normally and that is what the cool part of this thing is is the surprise of it the adventure of it where am I going to end up slowly the darkness eventually lifted. And at first, 
and this is one that I've talked about before. This is one that's happened before. I hadn't even, I did not realize that I'd gone anywhere. This has happened in previous uh, experiences in the beyond body. In my apartment, when I end up in another version of my apartment, many times in the beginning, I don't realize that I've gone anywhere. My setup looks completely the same. And so at first I'm looking around going, okay, I haven't really gone anywhere at this point. I'm thinking maybe I've just gotten up, but of course I'm not walking with a cane. I'm able to walk, but I'm not even thinking about that in that moment. What I'm thinking about is my apartment looks the same. So I walk away from my bed. Then I look to my left where my kitchen is. And I noticed, and this is the one thing that I noticed that was really different, was the fact that my um, pantry doors in my kitchen were completely in the wrong place my pantry looking at it right now it's just white it's not painted it's just kind of a normal uh, color I guess that you would have I suppose you could paint it any color that you wanted but um, right now it's a white color and when I saw it in this other reality it was the the pantry was dark it was sort of um, a wood color sort of thing. And again, the pantry doors were open and my pantry doors are usually never open. So I'm like, okay, this is definitely a different place. I, I wouldn't have opened, you know, number one, this isn't my pantry. Number two, the pantry doors are wide open. And why is that the case? I don't know. So I take a look around and one of the first things I saw in my kitchen was what I perceived to be a can of carnation milk. Now, uh, I've seen carnation milk before. It was the first thing that kind of came into my head. I started looking at this thing and examining it, and I saw the name. It did not say carnation milk on it, I don't think, but it reminded me a lot of that kind of, you know, uh, I guess they call it, is they, they call it evaporated milk. I don't know. It's in a can like that. And I, I looked at it and I saw the name and uh, I can't remember what the name was. And it's so funny when I go to these places, one of the first things I'm thinking, or one of the things I think about it when I, when I do go to these places is I'm thinking, what can I bring back for you? Can I bring back a name? Can I bring back anything for you so that you can, you know, know what a food is called in a parallel reality? You know, I think I always think that's interesting, but for the life of me, I can't remember what the name was, but it was one of the things I saw. And then I was like, okay, I got to remember this, but I could not remember it. Then I headed outside into the hallway and I was walking. Now, I want to kind of, again, give you a picture here because things looked very normal. I was very, very close, at least to my sense. I was very close to this reality. As I've told you before with the beyond body, there are times when I go way, way out there. And it's in a place that's so far away that it's literally hard to grasp what I'm seeing. But then there are other places, other realities that I go to other parallel universes, I guess you could say, that are very close to this one, very, very close. And this one was, things didn't look unusual to me at all. Things looked quite normal, I guess, for a 3D world. Nothing stood out to me. But the one thing I always like to, to test when I go into one of these worlds is I want to see if I can fly because I know that flight is possible in some places. I wasn't sure if it was going to be possible or not. So as I walked, I jumped into the air 
just to see if I would hang there for a moment or if, or if I would be suspended in midair. And yes, I was. Flight was possible. And I'm always excited when flight is possible in a place I go to. So as soon as I was able to get outside into the parking lot, because it was a parking lot, there were cars and everything, and I leapt into the air. I mean, jumped as hard as I could, and I was flying straight up. And it was interesting because I soared straight up into the air, and then I started coming down in concentric circles slowly with my arms extended. Now, as I descended, I got a bit of a surprise because on the ground, I saw someone that I knew, a very old, old friend of mine that I haven't seen for quite some time. Her husband retired and they moved out of Southern California and now they live in another state. And I hadn't been in contact with her for a while, but there were some years in our friendship that we were very close. I was seeing her maybe once or twice a week. And of course, I've missed her over all this time, but you know, life goes on. I saw this same person as I was coming down. She looked up at me and didn't seem startled at all that I was coming down from the sky, which tells me that flight is a normal thing in this place as well. And she even joked with me about it. She said something, and I can't quite remember the words. It was something like, you know, when people start flying into my window, then it's a problem or something like that. Something like that. I, I'm probably not putting it in the exact same words that she put it, but she made a joke about it, and I, I kind of laughed. It's so interesting because she looked... She definitely was my friend, except for she looked younger and thinner um, in this particular universe. And <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm leaving her anonymous because she might not be happy about me saying that she looked thinner. But I'm just kind of telling you what the reality was. She definitely looked thinner, definitely looked younger. And I was excited to talk to her. I was excited to say, hey... What world is this? Because she was communicating with me. Obviously, in this world, she knew me as well. So she was going into the building, and I was trying to catch up to her. And as I was going into the building, guys, I was starting to feel myself lose my grasp, my grip on this reality. And I was like, okay, I got to hurry because I want to find out, you know, what this world is. But by the time I got into the apartment building she was already going up the stairs and i don't think she could hear me because i was i was calling to her and i was saying hey what place is this what is this place called and i was thinking okay i'm not going to be able to reach her then this is even stranger i think this man comes in just randomly dark hair um i think maybe middle-aged and he heard me asking what this place is called and the only thing I can tell you is he said the word Coptic Coptic and he said it really quick it almost sounded like to me to my ears maybe like um you know in ancient Egypt they spoke Coptic or the Coptic language and that's kind of what it sounded like to me, but I can't be 100% sure, guys. It sounded like Coptic, and that's what the world was calling. In fact, I remember asking him as I was being pulled back into this 3D world, are you talking about, like, this is the city Coptic, or is this the world Coptic? And he just repeated it again. He said Coptic, and that was it. I was back. Very interesting experience. Very, very interesting. Um, but as I said before, very close to this world, um, with the exception of being able to fly. Anyway, thank you so much for coming on another journey with me. And until next time, 
Take care.